my question is that we know that we have uh, the Ravatib Sunnah prayers, which are 12. And we also know that there are like two non-Ravatib after the Ravatib Sunnah of Zuhur and four non-Ravatib before the Fard of As Asr. Uh, but I have seen some people that they pray like two Raka'ah after the Sunnah of Maghrib and some people pray four Raka'ah before the Fard of Isha. Like, are these prayers authentic and should we pray them? There are different opinions of scholars in regards of the four Raka'ah before Isha. There are hadiths about the companions making it as if you have offered night prayer through, wit, through uh, Laylatul Qadr, for example. But none of these hadiths are strong enough to be attributed to the Prophet ﷺ. So it's an issue of dispute. Some would say, yeah, this is okay. Some would say, mm, nope. As long as something as big and important as this is not highly authentic and not attributed to the Prophet ﷺ, I'd rather refrain from it. So it's an issue of dispute. If someone decides to do it based on the many uh, hadiths attributed to the companions, whether mm, authentic or half authentic or weak, this is their call. No problem. Let them do whatever they want. It's a voluntary act of worship. And if people are inclined to not do it, as I myself am, then we should not have an issue of dispute and fight one another over it. Now, praying two rak'ahs after Maghrib, you said, this is a confirmed sunnah because it's one of the rawatib 12 rak'ahs, maybe between Maghrib, uh, Adhan, and Iqama. Also, this is a confirmed sunnah for all prayers, as the Prophet said, between every two Adhans, meaning Adhan and Iqama, there are two rak'ahs, there are two rak'ahs, there are two rak'ahs for, whom, for whomever wishes. So this is part of the uh, uh, sunnah. But is it part of the 12th? No. So if one does it, there's no problem in that, inshallah, as well.